All right, what is up boys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today, we are hitting shoulders, a little shoulder workout. You get to see what I hit on shoulder day. But yeah, so uh, kind of went back to my old hair just because the whole middle part thing makes me feel like an asshole. So I decided against it. So yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed last video. I had a really good day that day. It was a lot of fun just recording it and just experiencing it i hope you guys enjoyed it as much as i did uh but yeah today i'm just kind of existing gonna do some homework gonna go for some groceries too so i'll bring you guys along for that but yeah all right so change of plans i kind of just moved my hair back because it is too long and it looks just somewhat right with the sides of my head however like i am probably gonna try to get a haircut sometime this week because it's getting out of hand like it's actually too much now to where it's just making me mad constantly <laughs> and like it like okay cool like people think it looks good but personally i just don't really like it and i don't like the look of it, it just makes me feel uncomfortable so i'm probably gonna get a haircut soon <laughs> you guys what I buy in order to build muscle and look handsome if you buy this you may not look handsome or build muscle but it's person dependent on how much you're eating you know if you're not handsome just like be handsome and then you don't have to deal with it anymore but yeah uh, it's very important that you just remember that you pick the wrong parents first on the list is some blueberries because give me those antioxidants 
Next up we got uh, sprouted bread because the protein is more bioavailable and some spinach because I love those anti or oxalites or whatever the fuck. And now this brings us over to the ground beef. This is my favorite food ever. I'm not gonna lie other than sushi, can't cap. Then we're gonna grab some of this Thai chili uh, canned tuna just cause it's like 129 per can which is fairly good. But I'm also gonna get a just like regular pan too. Because actually, no, it's about the same price, so I'll just get a bunch of those ones because they're delicious. Now we got eggs and egg whites. Just to kind of tie it all together. Uh, I think this is all we're gonna get to be honest with you. If I forget anything, I'm gonna have to go to Food Basics by my apartment, which isn't a big deal. But I'd rather not. So yeah, I'm gonna check out and then I'll catch you guys after. I know you may be thinking, Carter, where's all the carbs? Thought you liked the carbs. Joke's on you. I already have my carbs. Because I only eat, well, the bread doesn't really count because that was one carb source. I eat cream of rice, uh, regular white jasmine rice, and then oats. And you pretty much just buy all those in fucking bulk. So I don't really need to pick that up like ever. It's very rare for me to have to. And usually I just order my cream of rice online because it's like finding the lost tomb of Cleopatra. Whenever you're trying to look for fucking cream of rice in Canada nowadays, it's kind of fucking maddening. So I just order mine off of uh, Pride Foods. And I really like theirs because, um, okay, Carl, what the fuck are you doing? Uh, I, anyways, I really like Pride Foods cream of rice because they send you different flavors. So yeah, that's pretty much like all I fucking eat. Just beef, rice, tuna, rice, cream of rice and whey, and then fucking eggs and egg whites. I might, well, I was, I was having steak the last couple of days, but that was rare because it was 30% off, so it was really cheap. It was like 15 bucks, and it lasts me like three or four days, but that's not going to happen all the time, so we're going back to egg whites, sadly, but I can make like protein French toast, so that's nice. All right, we're just having a post-workout meal. Um, so pretty much, just gonna go over how I like, grew my shoulders over recent times. So I normally do like one shoulder day where I do a lot of volume, and then I have um, like two other days where I'll just throw in lateral raises during my workout. So those days are my chest and bicep day, and then my arm day. Just because on um, arm day, it's not really that taxing as is, because it's a smaller muscle group. And I found editing it, um, or progressive overload through means of reps and then weight. Like, I'll do, like, a couple weeks at the same weight, but I'll be adding reps each time I do them. So, like, say I'm doing, like, 30-pound lateral raises for eight to begin with. And the next week, I'll try to add one to two reps or better form. And then, eventually, I would graduate to 35, 40, 45, 50, and then just so on and so forth, but that's kind of ridiculous if I'm doing that with a dumbbell lateral raise because it's a lot of weight. So I switched it to the machine lateral raise. So today my top set was 105 for eight and pretty much like I'll do a top set and then two back offs and then a drop set on that last set, just like a single set or a double drop. But yeah, that's how, that's pretty much how I grew my shoulders. I start off with always like a heavy press. It doesn't matter what press you do. I just prefer the um, Smith Machine shoulder press just because I find it enjoyable and it feels safer. So I'll just continuously do that. Um, and I always throw in a front delt exercise just because I think when I do it, it gives my delts like a more round look along with the rear delts. But... Um, that last rear delt exercise I was doing where I was bent over with the cable. That was my first time doing it and I really liked it. If you guys are looking for something to give you a nasty rear delt pump, try it out. I highly recommend it. It's sort of the same as like a dumbbell, but you're keeping tension on it the entire time. Because when you're down here with the dumbbell, there's not much tension. As opposed to when you're up here. So, yeah. I highly recommend you guys check it out. Try it. Let me know what you think. Yo, so I got this new uh, tripod, 
that like kind of lets me like adjust it so I could like strap it onto things. Pause. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna retry that. So I got this new like tripod and it's like adaptable and I can make like weird shapes with it and it's pretty cool. I like it for just like talking to you guys because I can kind of adjust it differently and it's got like these three little dangly things. That wasn't much better. Actually, no, three is good, as long as it's not two. But I feel like if I tried hard enough, I could maneuver it to where it is against, or like, not against, it's kind of like able to latch on to things, like a cable rig or something, because I feel like that would add like a really cool effect to it. Be good for like an Instagram reel workout or something. But we shall figure it out as we continue to use this but it is really nice to just like kind of hold and move around with so i'm gonna be using this all the friggin time oh i'm gonna be using it all the friggin time all right boys let's talk really quick in the upcoming weeks sorry i got beef on my face we're good in the upcoming weeks i will be starting a new series it may have to do with something. You will never know until it starts, okay? So, pretty much, I'm going to be more like training oriented and food oriented. I will be giving you guys a lot more tips and tricks, things that I do personally that I've seen work for me. So, yeah, new series coming up. Be on the lookout, okay? I'm really excited about this. This is my first time doing something of this sort. So, yeah. With that being said, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Well, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Love you. Bye.